Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my stock signals video for Friday the 25th of January. <clears throat> Again, I want to do something different. I want to look at multiple time frame strategies. Uh, looking at a signal that we've got on Facebook on the daily time frame, but bearing in mind that uh, the earnings for Facebook is on next week on the 30th of January. So what I want to do is look at something that I teach on my elite training course and there'll be a link uh, below this video uh, is looking at signals that we get on higher time frames, looking at lower time frames, and looking at potential um, good uh, trades there. So let's have a look at Facebook on the daily. So when we just zoom out on the daily, we've just had recently had a decent uh, trade on Facebook when we went through this support resistance zone here and we traded this move up. We've had a pullback, we got out, we took profit. Uh, remember, we're trying to uh, look at trend reversal trades on Facebook now. Now we've broken out of this channel. So yesterday we had a bullish day. We rejected the lows, this green candle here, and our black box breakout indicator gave us a signal. So it's found support to our EMA cloud. Re, uh, you know, bounced off that support level yesterday with high volume because we've got a green candle, therefore giving us that uh, entry at 148.40 with a stop loss 140.56. Now, great if we wasn't, wasn't near earnings, but we've got to think that to ourselves that next week on the 30th of January, we've got earnings after the market. So next, uh, you know, we've got to think about what we're going to do. Is there a time frame with a looking at this pullback here for a potential trade with a tighter stop and entry? So initially we know we've got some bullish momentum building here on the daily time frame, but we don't want to be in this too long. So we can't really trade this off the daily time frame. So again, this is the Thinkorswim platform. I've just used the black box breakout indicator uh, because we've got the signal from that with our watch list and it just comes up. Uh, and they, so I look at now on the four hourly time frame in the middle here. So we've had a wave four pullback intraday, um, but this, the 535 it isn't quite right. The, um, the stochastic here isn't crossed over in the oversold zone. So we've got to go down another time frame. So when we look at the 60 minute time frame, we're looking pretty good here. We've had a wave four pullback on that pullback that we saw on the daily. It's pulled back into our um, high probability zone. So this is the green zone set. It's an 85% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five high. Stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone. We're looking good. So we've gone down. We've used this multiple time frame strategy uh, to find and uh, using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Thinkorswim platform. Uh, also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation and Multicharts. So we've got that as initial signal on the daily. We're bearing in mind that uh, Facebook has earnings next week. So have we got a tighter entry? Can we still use our three, one of our three indicator suites and develop uh, a trade for Facebook? And absolutely yes. So the way four pullback has found support initially yesterday, rejected those lows and come back up. We've got to get above the cloud intraday here. So I've gone for an entry at 147.12 with a stop loss 142.47 and the target zone is around about $155 there, our automated target zone at the top. Bear in mind, if we do trigger today, we're going to swing it over to next week, but we don't want to be in this trade before the earnings. So on the 30th after the markets is earnings. So if we're still in this trade, we've got to look to take profits. Now, Everything's stacking up. We've got a great signal from the daily time frame. Again, on my elite training course, I teach this um, multiple time frame strategy using our indicator suites really to uh, look at these stocks and look for good entries. So this is a great intraday swing. We're going to uh, look for that entry on Facebook on the 60 minute time frame, 147.12 long. We're above our EMA cloud here. We're way outside the 6.4 moving average high, which is one of our entry strategies. So we're quite conservative. It's got to move on from yesterday's bounce uh, and then we'll be into the trade. OK, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all on Monday.